Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are starting to play through the Age of Apocalypse scenarios. And we are starting from Yunus. I am using the new Standard 3 encounter set. So we have the Pursuit by the Past uh, set up here. And we have set up Yunus. And we are playing with the uh, pre-built leadership deck for Bishop. So we are starting with Bishop. Uh, next scenario I'm playing, we will be playing with uh, Magic and we will rotate between the two heroes from the uh, Age of Apocalypse box. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are set up here, so I haven't played uh, any of these uh, scenarios before, so these are blind playthroughs for me. So uh, we have the um, villain set up and uh, we are playing on standard difficulty. So, yeah, I forgot to put toughness on Yunus and uh, yeah. We'll just give the decks a quick shuffle and start going. So, uh, first off, yeah, uh, we need to reveal the gene pool side scheme. So, yeah, I have to do that. So, we'll put that here. Cup comes into play with four threat. It has been a while. I haven't been able to do any playthroughs in a while because of uh, moving and real life situations and stuff like that. But I'm happy to get back into filming some playthroughs for you. Uh, at least I enjoy making them, so hopefully you enjoy watching them. Uh, yeah, so uh, set up reveal the gene pool side scheme and uh, we are not playing in expert mode, so we don't do the rest, so we'll flip this. So we have a, a threat threshold of 11, and we start with zero. And there's a forced response. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat on gene pool. Okay, and the gene pool reads, forced response. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threats here. Okay, and it is permanent. So we can't get rid of that. So and if it if this scheme is completed, the players lose the game. And Yunus, um, let's see. Uh, toughness. If the amount of threat on gene pool is at least three, Yunus gains retaliate one. Six, Yunus also gains stalwart, and nine, Yunus also gains uh, the boost icon. So we need to get the gene pool threat down low. So we'll draw our opening hand. And uh, there are a lot of new cards, so I might need to read some of them. So we have the lead from the front, teamwork, command authority, team training, advanced suit and genius. Well, uh, I'll ditch that. One of those. I think command authority might be good. Uh, it is uh, remove three threat from a scheme, so we can immediately remove some from gene pool. And uh, I think I won't need lead from the front immediately. So we'll draw three more cards. X23, marrow, side by side. Okay. I think we'll get uh, can start with these so i think i could play marrow mm, or do i want to play x23 after x23 attacks and defeats an enemy ready her well not that useful yet Okay, I uh, think we can manage with these. So I'm playing Command Authority and Marrow. So um, 
Okay, do we have any temporals here? No. I think I want to try and play something temporal. We don't have any temporal traded stuff, so that's a bummer. But that's okay, we'll just flip to bishop, so... Um, just a reminder how, what bishop does, so after bishop takes any amount of damage from an attack, discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck, add each resource card discarded uh, this way to your hand. We need to try and remember that. First off, I'm using side by side an x23 to play Marrow. So Marrow enters play, so we deal two damage to an enemy, so that removes the tough. Then uh, I am using Genius to play Command Authority. Remove three threat from a scheme if you paid for this event with a resource card. Draw one card, so it'll draw a card. It is another Command Authority, but uh, unfortunately we don't have enough to play that. But we'll get this gene pool down to three uh, to one uh, threat. Oh yeah, and uh, just uh, if you don't know how this works, so uh, it is a permanent forced response. After you place a pursuit counter here, if the number of counters here is at least three more than the number of players, you move each counter here. If your nemesis minion is in play, it activates against you, otherwise flip this card. So we, uh, I actually don't know how you put the pursuit counters here, but uh, we'll probably find out soon enough. <clears throat> okay, so uh, nothing else to play. So um, I think we'll just start hitting Yunus. So Marrow will hit for two damage. Bishop will hit for two damage. And that is our turn. We're ready up. Uh, we will we'll keep these. We have a hand size of five, so we'll draw three cards side by side, advanced suit and energy conversion. Okay, it is a defense, so we need to read, uh, read it if we want to use it. So when an enemy attacks, shuffle each resource card in your discard pile into your deck. You cannot take more than three damage from this attack, so I'm definitely using that uh, to tank the damage. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Yunus attacks. Uh, I'll just take it with bishop and play the energy conversion. And we'll shuffle each uh, resource card. We only have one in our discard, but we'll sh uh, shuffle genius into our deck. Okay, then uh, Yunus will hit us for 2 plus 2, 4 damage, but it's uh, down to 3, so we'll take 3 damage. And uh, we get to discard 3 cards and take any resource cards. We'll get the stored energy. These go into our discard. Then we get an encounter card. It is targeted for extermination. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme confuses their identity. It comes into play with three threats on it. Okay, well, that was the first round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and we are on the top of the second round. Mm. Stored energy. Yeah, it's a temporal card. Okay, I am playing uh, side by side with stored energy. So I'll. Uh, well, we don't have a sidekick, I think. How do we get a sidekick? Uh, I think we have one card that 
does that, so that is useless at the moment. Okay, uh, I am going to use side by side and advance suit to play team training. So now Marrow uh, gets plus one health, then uh, Uh, we use command authority to get rid of the target for extermination and use the stored energy to play it. So it removes three, this is uh, removed. Okay, and uh, when we defeat this one, uh, we are confused. Okay, then I think I'm just going to get to read off the confused for now, so I'm uh, talking. Then uh, Marrow will hit for two damage, and that is it. So fast turn, we're already up. We draw one, two, three, four, five cards. Strength, concussive blast times two. Lead from the front and advance to it. We add a threat here, and uh, Yunus attacks, I'll defend with Bishop, and we will take 3 damage. And we will discard 3 cards, 1, 2, 3, and... We get... Uh, we add each resource card. Okay, so we got stored energy and the lead, the power of leadership. That's really good. And we get an encounter card. Sinister Strike. Uh, when revealed hero form, place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain attacks you. Okay. We'll add one here, and the villain attacks me, and uh, I will. Uh, I'll just take it, or do I? Yeah, I'm going to use Marrow to defend. So Marrow is defeated, and that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, now we have a. Abundance of uh, resource uh, cards, so I think we can actually play double concussive blast. Okay, so I'm using the stored energy, and uh, I'll use the advanced suit. So these two cards uh, to play the concussive blast. So deal 6 damage to an enemy if you paid for this event with a resource card ready bishop. So bishop ready is we deal 6. So phase 1 of Yunus is defeated. So let's see. Phase 2. Um, Toughness and uh, if the amount of threat on gene pool is at least three, same thing, six, same thing, and nine, same thing as before. So basically, Yunus just gets more health and uh, has a bigger scheme. Okay, and uh, we will actually hit with bishop. So we hit for two. And uh, then we will play another concussive blast. And I'm using the lead from the front and strength to deal 6 damage 
So we are already down to seven with Yunus, but uh, that ready bishop. I will go to alter ego and I will heal for uh, four. Okay, that is our turn. We ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, and after you, uh, after you change to this form, add a temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. So let's quickly see. Uh, we have the stored energy. We have a bishop uniform, bishop's rifle. I'm actually grabbing the bishop's rifle. Or actually, hmm, yeah, I'm just grabbing that. Okay, and uh, we draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, four, uh, four cards. Suit up, Randall, Energy, Legion, and we have the Bishop's Rifle for next round. We'll go to the villain face. We add one threat here. Unus schemes for two plus uh, that's this card to an infinite minion. Uh, there are no infinite minions, so we only scheme for two. So that goes to five. We'll get an encounter card. It is infinite soldier guard. Uh, one scheme to attack, three hit points if the amount of threat on gene pool is at least, or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, we forgot to place three threat here, so... Yunus has retaliate. Yeah, so we actually took three damage with Bishop. because of those retaliates, which I forgot to do. Uh, actually, one we didn't because we uh, got uh, advanced to the phase two. So making small mistakes here and there, but yeah, I haven't played in a long time. So bear with me. I'm trying uh, to play at, as with the least amount of uh, misplays as I can, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we need to get rid of the infinite soldier and deal seven more damage to Yunus. So... We could uh, play Randall and... We could play also play Legion. I think I like playing a bunch of these allies this round. So um, we'll flip to hero mode. First off, we'll play Legion, and I'm using the Energy and uh, suit up for that. No, let's not play Legion yet. I'll play the suit up and use the power of leadership. So uh, search your deck and discard pile for an ally and an upgrade uh, that can be attached to that ally. Add them to your hand. So. Cable would be nice. Uh, let's see here. We have Cable. We have Malcolm. What? We have the Sidekick upgrade. Okay. Um, I think I'll play Marrow 
or I'll, I'll grab Marrow from my Discord and I'll grab Sidekick from my deck. Just give a quick shuffle to my deck. Okay, those are added to my hand. Now I will play Marrow. I'm using the energy. So uh, after Marrow enters play, deal two damage to an enemy. I'll deal two here. And uh, I think I'll play. Yeah, I'll play Randall. And uh, Randall will hit for one damage, defeating the infinite soldier. Yeah, it has quick strike, but it didn't matter. We were in alter ego. Then uh, Marrow and Bishop will hit. No, uh, I will first thwart for two here. So we, that uh, Unus loses retaliate. Then Marrow will hit for two damage here. And that is our turn ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. The power of leadership lead from the front, uh, side by side supercharged and stored energy. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Yunus adds one threat here and attacks. I'll take it with bishop without uh, exhausting. So boost, you are stunned. If you were already stunned, take two damage. Uh, so we take two damage and we are stunned. Okay. That's not that bad. And the encounter card is haunted. And uh, it is an application. Alter ego action. Discard a card from your hand. Discard this card. Okay, well, it doesn't affect us as we are going to finish the game next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We have uh, three damage on the board. We need uh, five. Okay, so, oh yeah, uh, we could have defended because, yeah, we took damage, so, okay, let's say I defended, so I took one damage less, but uh, we uh, then got to discard two cards, uh, one card, and it is genius, so we get to add that to our hand. Okay, how do we want to do this? So, okay. So I think we'll do it uh, with Randall. So first off, Marrow hits for two. Then Randall hits for one. Then, oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Let's back up a bit. So I use these two to play lead from the front. So my, all of my allies have a plus one attack. So yeah, we already defeated, but we could have then discarded this ready heal, hit again. Discard this, ready, heal, hit again. So Randall would have actually, oh yeah, and then we could discard this, ready, and hit. So Randall would have hit for nine or something like that this round. So yeah, uh, Yunus is defeated. Uh, that wasn't that bad. Um, still, uh, this is a new deck. The synergies in these uh, pre-builds are a bit... Uh, 
easier to find out when you're playing. Uh, this was the first time when I was playing Bishop, so it took me a while to get the hang of the synergies in the deck, but uh, in the end it's pretty simple. You just uh, combo uh, different stuff with the resource cards and get to play a lot of stuff when you get resource cards into your hand when you are taking some damage. But yeah, that was uh, the first scenario in the Age of Apocalypse uh, campaign box with Bishop. So Yunus has been defeated. Next time we will be trying out the second scenario uh, in the box with the magic. But uh, until then, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.